hello and welcome to a brand new vlog today is monday happy freedom day to all the south africans it's kind of ironic there was a post going around saying that on freedom day we're in lockdown and then on workers day we go back to work that's something i just wanted to pop in and kind of give you an update so so far i did not read anything else yesterday i ended up gaming but i figured i would quickly pop in and give this week's reading plans because there are some reading plans happening. Friday is the 1st of May, so I have like four days this week to actually catch up. There is a book that I have to read this week, like non-negotiable, because it is still for my April TBR. And that is The Fountains of Silence by Rita Zipedes. I'm kind of leaving this, I guess, for last minute because it is quite huge. Like, look at that. It is long and lengthy, but I know it's good. I really want to enjoy it. But before I get to this, I would ideally like to finish The Astonishing Life of August Marsh. I've already started it, so I might as well continue reading it it's quite fun it's quite easy to read as well so it just makes more sense to start with this one and get through this one and then the last book that i really do need to read this month is air of fire by sarah j mass i wouldn't be upset if i didn't entirely finish this but i really do want to get started on it and start making progress in this hopefully i can do that all this week it's currently quite late it's half past 11 i just finished editing last week's vlog because yesterday and the day before i focused on editing my may tbr which i'm gonna be finishing today i just have to input an image that will probably be up but by the time this is supposed to be up and today i also want to film my march plan with me i already have everything planned out in my bullet journal so i just need to sit down and get that done which won't be too crazy hey, the chronicles of the bad french continue apparently i thought i'd quickly pop in to update you since i haven't actually done that a lot to, like at all today I haven't been super productive. I've managed to finish editing my May TBR as well as the vlog that needs to go up today. So that's just currently uploading and processing and all of that jazz. I have continued reading some more of The Astonishing Life of August March. I'm not very far in. I've just re-picked it up now. So I'm on page 28. So I'm going to continue reading that. Like I said, I haven't really been active on that. My mom and I finished watching Spinning Out. So I thought I'd quickly share a tidbit on that. I really enjoyed the series. I have like... A really big fascination and love for figure skating and in terms of the bipolar representation i don't know how accurate the representation is but i think from like a, a person who doesn't have bipolar i think it really helps to educate at least in the slightest as i said i don't know how good the representation is but i feel like there is something that can be learned from it and i think it's about understanding so for me i've gained a lot of understanding it was a really good series i really am keen to continue it so hopefully they continue filming that the moment they are able to or whatever the case is at the moment with that because i believe that there is going to be a second season i hope there is i'm crossing my fingers but yeah um, my goal right now is just to continue reading some more of august march good morning so i hope you're doing well i figured i'd do a bit of an update i'm currently actually working on a a German assignment, which I think is very typical of me, considering that I'm always working on a German assignment or doing something for German and then postponing it because I'm not a fan. I'm currently working on my audio slash video presentation, although it'd probably be more audio because if that's an option, I'm going to do it. That way, I'm just working on it. It's, a, it's kind of an introduction to an essay that I now have learned that I have to write for German. I'm currently working on that, but I figured I'd give you a little bit of an update on things that I read last night before I headed to bed. I headed to bed so early last night and I feel so proud of myself because I was in bed by like half past 10 and I did wake up quite late, but I was like catching up on sleep, I guess, because I had the worst headache last night. Let me give you an update. I managed to get to page 101 of August, March. I'm liking this, but I'm also finding this quite in some sense as tedious. I don't like the fact that there aren't any chapter breaks, not just from a like the fact that I like to end on a chapter kind of feeling, but also just because I feel like a chapters, as much as the story is flowing like this, I would have enjoyed a little bit more chapters to signify an end of a certain point in August's life because we're jumping like sometimes we jump a couple of years sometimes we jump like a couple of months sometimes not even so I feel like I really would have liked to have a little bit more of a chapter break to indicate time I didn't make like major progress because I read like very few pages but I did start The Fountains of Silence by Rita Sepedes I read four pages of this also Bonnie is constantly wanting to lie on my lap like a person who wants to be comfortable comforted but i started i read four pages of this and it's definitely interesting so far so i'm really excited to continue reading this after august march because like i said i'm i don't want to really double up on any books but so far i think what's going to end up happening is i'm probably going to end up finishing one of the seminar classes because there's only three three days left of the month <laughs> Did. 
is just adamant on like, lying on me because I was really writing this out because I changed the order from this, which is like a mess, to this. Please, German people, ignore how badly this actually sounds. But he was fighting with me every time. And every time I have my laptop on my lap, he will like try and borrow in from the sides. And I'm just like, kid, listen, I'm trying to do the things I need to do to pass my university course, which won't help you in the future. But anyways, he's just too cute. It's because it's cold outside. Like, look at them crowds. It's quite chilly. It's like 12 o'clock and I want to film two videos that I really, well, it's two videos, but one's just like a mere introduction for a video and the other one is, oh no, it's three. Okay, it's three videos. One is an introduction and two are like tag-like things and I really want to film them because why not? I want to kind of get my, my stuff edited and ready and so on because I already have my main TBR edited and I just need to do the description for that and that needs to go, that's going to go up on Wednesday, oh no, on Friday when it's the first. Wednesday. I didn't read anything yesterday because I was supposed to do my German work, but then didn't. Um, I did some of it and then I vegged out. So I watched Onward, which has um, Tom, little baby Tom, and also Chris Pratt. I watched that and it was such a cute movie. I'm always someone who loves animated and I've been wanting to watch Onward for a while now just because I really like the premise of it. But I wanted to pop it because I took a picture and it looks so cute. I'll pop it here for you. It is so nice. I really love it. It's something that I've never done before because I don't really take photos of my face. <laughs> I don't know. It's a thing. Okay. But I did. And it turned out so good. And I love it. And I'm going to take more with my face. But first I want to go make some coffee so I can take a photo with a coffee and be like, I'm back. You know, like as my back to, to Instagram thing. <laughs> Medievalathon TBR. So I already have my TBR done, which I'll have linked up in the info cards for me. But I want I also wanted to participate in the Medievalathon, but I forgot to mention the prompts in my TBR video because I hadn't really decided now which is going to slot those books into the prompts that were available. And I actually have six books here based on the books that I already have on my TBR. So as I finish those books, they will work for this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do a separate video just talking about them because it's not all the books on my TBR. And it might change a little bit based on how the month goes. I'm still stuck busy reading The Astonishing the astonishing Life of August March. I want to finish this today. I, as I mentioned in my TBR, I'm actually going to be doing the Believe-a-thon like a book at a time because... It is a middle grade readathon, but I see some people are actually breaking that rule. So I'm kind of debating whether I want to break the rule or if I want to follow the, the structure of the fact that it's a middle grade. I don't know. Well, we'll have to see how the how the month goes, how I'm looking on the 10th of May. So I just posted a video, not a video, wow, <laughs> I'm sorry. That's basically all I've been doing. Um, I just posted a post on Instagram and I'm like, I'm back because I mistake not mistakenly but i just didn't post anything for the whole month of april i was like i don't really want to so i didn't and today i finally took a photo um obviously because i had to take a photo for jonathan ball publishers because they asked me to take a photo of one of their children books well not their children but one of their titles that they um agent and i was like cool i will and then i took it and it looks so nice so i did it with another book which is with the Astonishing Life of August March, which, you know, I'm currently reading. And I posted it and everyone is giving me such great feedback and they're all just like so nice. And it's so great because for the past couple of days, I've been really feeling like shit about Instagram. I'm getting so great feedback and I'm so excited to be back. I am participating in a photo challenge, so I'm really excited for that. I still need to take a photo for my book club, but this, like the sun is out now. So I guess now is like the better time to do it. So I'm going to do it because it needs to happen. And yeah, all I'm saying is that people can real be real dicks. And sometimes they, they, they aren't. And sometimes they're just like really great people. So there's that. Hi, so there has 
hasn't really been much, if any, updating this week and I feel terrible, but I also haven't really read anything. My ambitions of finishing my TBR Strong were like quickly diminished, but I just thought I'd pop in to let you know I finished The Astonishing Life of August March and I really liked it. I thought it's like a really fun, feel-good book. It has its ups, it has its downs, but it's- I um, just hit my cat in the head. I'm so sorry. Um, but it was like overall like a really great read. It's not something that I would typically gravitate towards and it's not something that I think I would particularly read again, but it was such a great book to read regardless. <laughs> If that makes any sense. So it is currently like half past 10. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a start on the Rudis of Petty's book, The Fountains of Silence. Because at least if I have started it, I won't feel as guilty as by not have finishing it. Hi. So I haven't updated you since yesterday, I think. I don't know what was the last thing I updated you on. But I finished, what is it book called? The Astonishing Life of August March. It's done. It's dusted. I gave it three and a half stars. It was good. But I thought I would update you and say I have started reading The Fountains of Silence by Rosa Petty. So technically, I'm not doing the bad. I did start reading it during April. I'm 50 pages in. I plan on reading a lot more of this in a little hot minute. I actually forgot that this weekend is a first Friday readathon. I think it's, I don't know if it's 24 hours. If it is, I just fucked up like hardcore. <laughs> but I wanted to try and get uh, to 100 page, 150 into this by the end of the day at the least. Um, if I read more than that, I'll be fine. Ideally, like in wishful thinking universe, I would like to finish it today. But obviously this that's called wishful thinking. But I do want to make some progress in this today. I really, I'm enjoying it. I'm liking the setting. I'm liking the characters. I think that I'm really enjoying the fact that also that we don't know everything from the get-go. We see some secrets happening here. Um, we see some characters withholding some information, which is going to be great. I am really intrigued by the character dynamics. We have a family, so we're getting quite a few point of views from the family, uh, which is Anna, Raphael, Julia, and Puri. And then the other one, the other point of view that we're getting, which is one of our main characters, is Daniel. And he is not from Madrid, because it's a city in Madrid. And Well, he's not the family, but they're, they're living in Madrid, working and everything. And then Daniel is from Texas. His dad is an oil tycoon, so he rich. And it's, it's very interesting to see the contrast in here. I'm really excited to continue. I think it's going to be a really great story. Like I said, I am enjoying it. I can't believe it's Friday already. Like, ugh, brain exploding. I thought I'd show you the different books that I'm getting this month for from Libra FM. So basically, I am a like influencer affiliate. So I get audiobooks for free. And I, I'm not under obligation to review them or anything, but just to talk about them every now and again. So this, I believe, is a YA. Um, this is interesting. I've never heard of it, but I know Toni Morrison. I had to read Sula by her in first year. Then The Honesty Nanogram, I'm really intrigued by this test because apparently it's the most accurate personality test thus far. Um, from what I understand, especially because some personalities, because you have type 1 to 9, are quite similar, but they're very they have specific things and then this one i'm so excited for it is a fantasy and i got it on nick ailey so i'm really excited to read this we then have this one which i'm intrigued by i can't say that i've heard much about it neither this one but this i have i did not like lucy folly's uh the hunting party but i'm really excited to see how the audiobook of this played out because if i like this then i might get the audiobook for the hunting party and retry it and then this i heard a lot about her and her Contents are apparently really great reads, so I figured I'd get this as well. So I'm really excited. I am so excited. I just ordered these really gorgeous pants from Cardinal, and I can't wait for them to arrive. They were so inexpensive. They were like 140 bucks. Well, 190 if you include shipping, but 140 bucks for Cardinal pants. It is unheard of. The original selling price is 200, which, once again, unheard of. So I don't know how I did not know these pants existed, but I'm so excited. They look so nice like on the models i am a bit skeptical but it is a style of pants that suits me quite a lot it's from like their curve range and i've been wanting a pair that looks like that for a while now i was gonna get one from forever new but i couldn't justify the price and it wasn't exactly the right fit at the time and i, I was like on my last cash and if i had bought it i would have been broke for a very long time and 
it would have been like a really difficult decision but like this time it feels right it just it was like the right price and everything so hopefully in the next couple of weeks they can deliver it for me so i can try it on i'm really excited they look so good <laughs> quickly hop on and update you so happy saturday i can't believe this week is almost over it's just my brain is just but yeah so i thought i'd really update you on my reading i'm on page 200 of the fountains of silence and i'm really excited because i really want to finish it today i have about 250 ish pages left to read it's a very interesting book i'm really enjoying it i think that i really like it's the fact that it's not an instant romance it's very slow burn we're really getting to know the situation in spain during this time period it's very interesting and i'm really i'm really enjoying the, the discussions and kind of seeing because a lot of the articles are american i think or have american influence in them so it's quite interesting i'm really liking it so far hi so it is like half past 10 i haven't continued reading what i'm about to do because i spent basically half the day trying to rank up on the call of duty mobile app and I'm not doing too badly. I can't say I'm terrible, but I'm definitely not the best. But I'm having fun. That's, that is what counts. But I'm just about to continue reading The Fountains of Silence. I'm about 200 pages in. I would ideally have liked to have finished it today. But obviously, I'm not about to read until who knows when. So I'm just going to try and read another 100 pages or so. 50 would be okay. 100 would be ideal so that tomorrow I only have to read 170 something pages. Which I could I could deal with that. But I think I'm just going to get to it now because it doesn't help. I make all these plans and then I don't do it. I thought I would quickly give you an update. I have finished The Fountains of Silence by Rudy Sepedes. I really like this one. I gave it four and a half stars. Really, really great. I have just started reading Era 5 by Sarah J Maas. I'm only like 18 pages in, but I'm so excited to read this. And we get to meet some really key people in the series in this book. Hi, I just want to quickly pop in and say thank you so very much for watching today's vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. It is a bit on the shorter side, but it was one of those weeks where I was gaming more than I was reading and I just really didn't want to vlog some of the stuff and it was a mess. I'm so sorry about some of the audio in this. I messed some coffee on my phone during the week from earlier when you saw I had that takeaway and i didn't realize it actually impacted my mic and now that i've been editing videos and stuff i've seen it happen and i'm trying to fix it hopefully it is a lot better but thank you once again for watching today's video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more of my face other than that i will see you in the next video